Now, this next record is rather interesting, and again, I'm afraid, quite difficult to get hold of. It comes with uh, an American magazine called Pope, which is very, very good, because it's uh, very opinionated, you know, and the chap's very direct and very strong in his writing, rather aggressive and abusive on occasions, which I quite enjoy, because quite clearly there are people uh, who need to be abused, probably me included, although well, he hasn't abused me yet. Uh, but uh, uh, with his current fanzine, which is issue number three of Pope, there's a seven-inch single, which is supposed to be by some band with a perfectly silly name. Hold on a second, I'll tell you what it is. It's written down here somewhere. Uh, right, the band is supposed to be Motorola Cloudburst, but in fact they're not Motorola Cloudburst at all, but Squirrel Bait. And this is the single, as I say, only 500 of these, and it's well worth having. It's called, I regret to say, Gerard's Dick. <laughs> Squirrel bait, as I say, and not whatever it was that I said it was before, Motorola Cloudburst, although that's the, rec that's the name that it goes out under in America, uh, along with the magazine The Pope, issue number three, only 500 copies of it, so hard to get hold of, but worth, obviously, getting hold of a copy if you possibly can. Two tracks there, which are combined together under the name of Gerard's Dick, and uh, Tense and Earth Shattering are the titles that are given here. Tom